I'm proud to present the Gotham Award 2012 tribute to Jeff Skoll. Um, thank, thank you so much, Ava. That was the best introduction ever. Uh, I, I, I'm not even sure what an ascot is, but uh, you know, Ava wouldn't wouldn't be the first to say it. But she's also uh, up for a big award tonight for uh, best breakthrough director. And uh, we, uh, I, I'm so proud of Emiazzi Coronaldi for her her win tonight. Um, <clears throat> I have used a teleprompter in the past, but this one apparently doesn't work, so I'm going to uh, <laughs> actually pull out a speech. Um, when I was a kid, I had a dream of telling stories, and I wanted to get people interested in the big issues of the world. My favorite film as a kid was Gandhi, and I became friends with the producer, uh, the late Jake Eberts. And following in the footsteps of Jake, uh, I wanted to tell stories that would get people interested in, in the world, and I went to Hollywood, and uh, I, I heard some very encouraging comments, like, this town is full of the carcasses of people like you who think you're gonna make movies in this town, and the surest way to become a millionaire is to start by being a billionaire and going into the film business. But in 2005, we launched our first four films, Good Night and Good Luck, Syriana, Murderball, and North Country. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, North Country, in particular, was seminal in the Bush administration renewing the Violence Against Women Act. Uh, for all of our films, uh, it's, it's important that there's an issue that affects people today. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's a funny business. You never know which film is going to hit. In 2006, we went to Sundance with two movies, one that I was sure was going to be a big hit, and the other was going to go straight to PBS. Uh, I, I got them exactly backwards. Uh, the World According to Sesame Street went straight to PBS, and An Inconvenient Truth went on to be a, a, a very large uh, film. Uh, to, to date, Participant has produced 41 films, including Lincoln, which is doing very well in theaters, which uh, hasn't historically been true. <laughs> uh, but it's independent films that, that truly <laughs> It's independent films that truly define the spirit of the industry. And so I'm especially proud of Middle of Nowhere, Food Inc., The Visitor, and the upcoming Promised Land, uh, written by and starring Matt Damon and John Krasinski, and uh, many of them are here tonight. With each film, we partner with NGOs to create a social action campaign around the issues of the movie. For example, on Contagion, we partnered with the American Public Health Association to create a tool called Flu Near You, which is meant to stop pandemics in their tracks. So I accept this award on behalf of the team at Participant, uh, Jim Burke, our CEO, Jonathan King, our, our head of narrative films, Diane Weirman, our queen of documentaries, and Evan Shapiro, our head of television. We, we all know that the world is in a precarious state, but film is a wonderful way to bring people together to make a difference. So thank you, IFP, for recognizing the filmmakers and the people in the industry who are really changing the world for the better. Thank you.